Hey, what's up everybody? This is Like It's 1985, and this is my review of the Arms Micron AM08 Terracon Cliff Jumper figure made by Takara Tomy. And what Takara Tomy has done is they've taken the original first edition Cliff Jumper and replaced most of the plastic with translucent purple plastic. And let's have a close look at that. So the overall effect is really, really nice. So in addition to replacing the plastic with translucent purple plastic, they've also added additional molds on the rear of the deck here, as well as on the hood that will accept the Micron figures. And you can see the first edition Cliff Jumper does not have those additional moldings on the vehicle form. So there is that difference. So as you can see, uh, the car mode here has not been stickered up. And what I'm going to do now is show you the stickered version. Because basically what you do is you apply stickers to the windows and some other parts of the vehicle to actually complete the entire vehicle mode effect. As you can see, Takara Tomy does provide you some stickers. Uh, basically what they do is they give you stickers for the front windshield, which are all black as well as for the passenger side and driver side windows. Again, black stickers. And finally, black stickers back on the rear window. And you do get the option of actually applying uh, the Decepticon symbols here. Uh, I chose to put one here on the hood and the one on the roof here. Uh, this, of course, becomes the chest in a robot mode. And also, there are stickers for the taillights. So that's just a look at the sticker applications for vehicle mode. And I don't know, I may, may, I may keep these, I may take them off, I'm not sure. Uh, the black and purple does look good, but it's kind of nice to have maybe like a, a stealthy look uh, without any stickers on uh, in the vehicle mode. And going back to the three ports on the vehicle mode, as you can see, the ports do accept Dark of the Moon mech tech weapons, so that's pretty cool. And, of course, what they were really designed for are the Microns themselves. This happens to be Soundwave's Micron here. And you can plug them here in on the hood for that type of effect. And, of course, you do have the Micron that comes with Terracon Cliff Jumper. I don't recall his name, but obviously you can see here he is some type of uh, panther or cat creature. I guess you could say he's uh, based on Ravage. He's got the single uh, mono eye there, uh, sticker there, uh, stickers on top here, and you've got the uh, Decepticon symbol on a sticker covered by a translucent green uh, piece of plastic. Articulation is really uh, based on the transformation, but you do have uh, a tail here as well and legs. Uh, transforming him, you want to take his tail, put that all the way in there, uh, followed by his head, and then you want to fold this up like that, fold this up, which would be his hind legs, and then you have a peg here, and you have weapons mode. And I love the way that these are uh, the edges of his, uh, well, what are his feet in uh, animal mode, but now are like the tip of the barrel here on the uh, weapons mode. They're spiked. I really like that uh, look there. Uh, very nice design element. And, of course, you can just plug the peg into the Micron port there, and you have that type of effect right there, which is uh, pretty cool. I have to say, this is one of my more favorite uh, Microns so far. Pretty cool. So the one thing I keep forgetting to talk about in reference to these Micron figures is they do have ports throughout the various parts of their figures. Uh, for example, you see there's a port here. Uh, certainly you can plug in a mech tech weapon if you wanted to. Uh, you can plug in Soundwave uh, Micron here. Uh, in addition, you have these uh, ports on the side. Plug them in there. Uh, that would be his hind leg in animal mode. Uh, plug it in there as well. That would be his uh, front legs uh, in animal mode. But you have all types of uh, combinations there. You even have a port down here as well. 
So moving on to robot mode. Uh, first thing I want to say, of course, is the fact that the transformation is identical to the first edition Cliff Jumpers transformation. And I did a full review on this figure here, so if you're interested, go ahead and check out that review. Uh, but moving on to the comparisons. Well, first off, let me draw your attention to the first edition. You can see the first edition Cliff Jumper does have some black parts. You can see here where the joint is right here, uh, his pelvic area right here, his hands and so forth, his knees. Well, if you take a look at the corresponding parts on the Terracon Cliff Jumper, you can see that black has been replaced with a, I would say, a dark maroon or maybe burgundy. But you can see there the joints there are different colors. So you do have that difference. And I went ahead and applied the stickers. Now the stickers on the robot mode pretty much are the replacement for the paint. And what I mean by that is if we take a look at the shoulders here, that is black paint, whereas on the Terracon, it is actually a sticker. Uh, same thing if you look at the arms, paint, sticker. And that really is the, the difference there. Uh, also, you have the uh, silver paint here, and here you have a shiny metallic sticker there. So uh, there is a difference there. And obviously, I applied the, uh, the Decepticon symbol on the chest there. Uh, that was my own personal uh, choice there to put that there. The one really cool difference is you take a look at the first edition Cliff Jumpers head sculpt, and then you take a look at the Terracon Cliff Jumpers head sculpt. You can see he is uh, missing his right horn, and his eye there is damaged. So really nice uh, uh, additional feature there with the head sculpt. And of course you can see there that the head itself is composed of the fantastic uh, purple translucent plastic. In addition of the transformation being identical to the first edition, the articulation also is identical. But let me go over it really quickly. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, shoulders on a ball joint, swivel at the bicep, bend at the elbow, and you do have a swivel at the wrist. And what is also cool is because this is based on the first edition mold, uh, you can swap out the hand, rotate it around for the Gatling gun, which is really, really nice. Uh, then you have uh, articulation at the hips forward and back, out to the side, uh, bend at the knee. In terms of weapons placement, of course, you can place the weapon in either of Cliff Jumper's hands like that. But remember, you also have these ports up here on your shoulders, uh, so you certainly could plug them in up there if you wanted to. And of course, on the back, you still have that other port, which you can use for like weapons storage. And of course, you could use uh, the uh, mech tech weapons. They do actually fit into the hand, and so you can have them like that, and maybe have uh, the Micron here in the other hand, something like that. It's kind of cool. And of course you can use the other Microns from the other uh, Micron figures. Uh, so here's Soundwave's weapon. So there are a lot of possibilities uh, uh, for robot mode in terms of weapons placement. So before I go into my final thoughts about this figure, I do want to bring up the issue of price. As with all of these ARMS Micron figures so far, these figures will run you anywhere from 30 to 40 US dollars, and that does not include shipping. So you're looking at, in terms of price, about paying the price you would for a leader class figure. And I realize that's going to be a problem with a lot of people. I'm fortunate enough that I'm able to, to afford to buy this, but I realize, you know, for some people it may be out of their reach, which is unfortunate. Because in this case, with this Terracon Cliff Jumper, it's a really, really unique figure. It has, of course, the translucent purple plastic, as well as the unique head sculpt, and of course it comes with the really cool Micron. Now, to address the issue of plastic, a lot of people are going to wonder, how does this plastic compare to the you know, North American release of the regular Cliff Jumper. Well, I I don't see any problems so far. Now, I have to admit I've only transformed this once from a vehicle to robot mode for this review, but I don't see any stress marks and at no point did I think the plastic was going to break on me. You know, the plastic feels different obviously because it's probably made from a different material being translucent. 
so I don't have any problem with the plastic thus far. I do like the fact that the figure is based on the first edition Cliff Jumper rather than the Robots in Disguise Cliff Jumper. In my personal opinion, the first edition mold of Cliff Jumper is much better than the RID version. Just my opinion. And I hope that Hasbro releases the, or I should say re releases the first edition figures so people have a chance to get uh, their hands on those figures. The figure is unique enough that I think it's warranted a purchase. And really, so far, of the ones I've reviewed, I've reviewed Soundwave, and I actually have Megatron. Of the three, I'd probably say this one here is one of the Micron figures, or one of the ARMS Micron figures, most worth getting. Because you got a completely different uh, style of plastic with the purple translucent plastic, a different head sculpt to reflect the fact that uh, you know, Cliff Jumper is now a Terracon, and you get a really cool Micron. So if you're going to buy only one ARMS Micron figure, of the ones I've seen so far, this one, in my opinion, is the best. And if you can only get one, this one is the one you should get. Alright, well thanks for watching. This has been my review of Arms Micron AM08 Terracon Cliff Jumper by Takara Tomy. Thanks for watching.